Don't do Generation Kill and you're watching Rock and Metal News. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Dream Theater has announced a second leg to their North American tour, and guests for the tour will be Crimson Project, featuring Adrian Ballou, Tony Levin, Pat Mastelotto, Marcus Rauter, Julie Slick, and Tobias Ralph. They'll be performing songs from King Crimson, and it starts June 15th, Rochester, New York, until July 21st, Chester, Pennsylvania. Wes Borland from Limp Biscuit has confirmed that mixing sessions for the new Black Light Burns album, titled The Moment You Realize You're Going to Fall, has started. The band will release the CD later in 2012. Sacred Reich are now confirmed for Barge to Hell, the world's most extreme metal cruise from the creators of 70,000 Tons of Metal, which will run from December 3rd to December 7th, 2012. The Floating Hell Barge embarks from Miami, Florida and travels to Nassau, Bahamas and back to Miami. Organizers are announcing one band an hour. So far, the confirmed acts out of 40 are Artillery, Enslaved, Hypocrisy, Christian, Loud Blast, Moonspell, Morgoth, Paradise Lost, Possessed, Sacred Reich, Sanctuary, Sepultura, Six Feet Under, and Sodom. Barry Tomorrow's music video for the track Lionheart can now be seen on YouTube. The song is off their new album titled The Union of Crowns, due out on July 17th in North America through Nuclear Blast. And Demon Hunter's new album, True Defiance, can be streamed in its entirety as long as you share, and you can go to tweetmatic.com. And the full new Cancer Bats CD, Dead Set on Living, can be streamed on Facebook when you like the band. The album will be released on April 24th through Metal Blade Records. Continuing with your Maximum Threshold.net rock and metal news, Agnostic Front, Norma Jean, and Swiss electro-industrial band Samael have been confirmed for Brutal Assault Festival 2012. Canadian band Protest the Hero have been forced to cancel due to touring restrictions. Brutal Assault will take place at an old farm fortress in Czech Republic from August 9th to 11th with a warm-up on August the 8th. Guns N' Roses Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony will be held this Saturday in Cleveland, but guess who doesn't want to show up? Axl Rose, of course. In a letter posted on GNR's Facebook page, Axl said he will not attend the ceremony, and to top it off, he turned down the induction altogether. Axl wrote, this is just part of his letter, quote, The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Guns N' Roses fans, and whom it may concern. When the nominations for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame were first announced, I had mixed emotions, but in an effort to be positive, wanting to make most of things with the fans for this enthusiasm, I was honored, excited, and hoped that somehow this would be a good thing. Of course, I realized that things stood if Guns N' Roses were to be inducted, it would be somewhat complicated and an awkward situation. I respectfully decline my induction as a member of Guns N' Roses to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, end quote. And there's tons more of the letter on the, on the net, so you can go check that out. But you get the picture. Black Sabbath have officially confirmed this year's Lollapalooza Festival in Chicago, marking their only scheduled U.S. date for this year so far. Other, uh, other acts to appear are Red Hot Chili Peppers, Florence and the Machine, Jack White from the White Stripes, and many more. And finally, Rob Zombie directed a new commercial for Amdro's Ant Block Product. The commercial stars actor Clint Howard and can be seen over at fearnet.com. So check out that commercial that was produced by Rob Zombie. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.